Animal cruelty is an ongoing problem in Colorado and the extreme heat is only making things harder for our pets. According to FBI data, Colorado ranks third for animal abuse by number of offenses. That number, nearly 4,000 instances in a 10 year span, is almost four times the national average, which is why the Colorado Bureau of Animal Protection and local crime stoppers need your help keeping our furry friends safe this summer. So with that, this morning I'm joined by Dan May from Pikes Peak Crime Stoppers. Good morning. Good morning, Dan. Good morning, Paige. Good morning, Colorado. Yeah, how are you? Happy very, to have you. Uh, yes, and, you know, this is a horrible thing to talk about, exactly. but I know it's one you're very concerned about is you have bass with us today. Exactly. I'll let you explain bass is not a fish. <laughs> no, bass is not a fish. He is my dog, and so it's important, I think, to me, and it should yes. be to everyone. Animal cruelty, it's such an awful topic to hear about, and no one should ever want to see an animal in danger. So with that, I want you to tell me about the most common mistakes that pet owners can oh, sure. make. Um, that puts their animal in danger. You betcha, you know, we see animal cruelty in three ways. One is negligence, which is people who uh, aren't feeding their animal, aren't uh, give, getting the medical help if they need that, uh, hoarding animals, and, and again, it just becomes overwhelming for them. Or even people who are in financial conditions and they can't pay for the food for their horses or things like that. The second is actually intentional, where you'll get a someone who's torturing the animal or maybe has a dangerous dog. The third is organized. We don't see that very often, but it's the dog fighting or the cock fighting, mm -hmm. uh, and every so often we'll see that. Uh, or, you know, this time of year we have people just leaving them in a car. You don't realize that the outside temperature uh, of the car is a lot less than what in the car it gets yeah. significantly warmer and can kill animals. That's awful. And yeah. so, you know, like I said, Colorado ranks among the yeah. worst states for animal abuse. What can be done there to kind of change those numbers? You betcha. Number one, people need to know there are resources out there. If you are getting overwhelmed or you're getting elderly or you have financial issues, if you'll contact Crime Stoppers or Pikes Peak uh, Humane Society or up in Teller County, they have TCRAS, uh, they will give you resources. They will have groups that will help you out, feed your animals, take care of your animals. A lot of people will find that uh, they have an injured animal and they don't think they can afford a vet. Again, there are groups that will help. If you'll contact us, we'll get you in contact with those people and, and there is aid out there so that you don't have to feel overwhelmed. Definitely, there's always help too for you and the animal. Now, if you do see an animal in danger, what can you do? What are you supposed to Again, do? Con you can contact Crime Stoppers. Mm -hmm. We have a Humane Society person right on our board or the Pikes Peak Community Humane Society, they will come out and investigate it. And I'll tell you, Colorado uh, really has been on the forefront of having uh, more penalties than most states in cruelty to animal cases. If someone is intentionally harming an animal, it, 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 initially neg negligence can be a misdemeanor, but if they're intentionally doing it, it's a felony in Colorado. Mm -hmm. They can go to prison. Now, most people, when uh, it's brought to the law enforcement's attention, we find that a lot of times they just need anger management. They may need some other classes and how to take care of animals. They may need to have some resources. But for severe cases, they go to prison. Definitely, and you were telling me there's yes. sometimes some underlying issues that can not just the animal cruelty, it stems with other things. Uh, it, it is interesting when we really have that in person who's intentionally torturing animals, how many other crimes they're doing. It's not unusual to find domestic violence around them. Uh, one case in particular I handled was uh, Patrick Frazee who killed his fiance at the time, mm -hmm. uh, Kelsey Barrett. Uh, the only indicator in his background was the way he treated his animals, his dogs, his cattle. Uh, he was very cruel to them and of course later it resulted in a murder. Definitely. I mean it was kind of you said that underlying psychosis that you weren't even necessarily aware of. Definitely tragic yeah. but you know thanks Dan for telling us there I'm are sure. Um, resources that people can reach out to if they need help. Crime Stoppers, uh, mm -hmm. give us a call. Uh, we have all those resources right on our board. We'll connect you right up with the right people and you can get the help you need. Good stuff, Dan. Dink. Thanks you. Thank you, rather. If you have any information about a crime or something you think that could lead to an arrest, you can contact Pikes Peak Crime Stoppers at 719-634-7867. You can always remain anonymous, anonymous and could be eligible for a reward. You can join us every Sunday for a Crime Stopper to talk about a local crime topic in our area. If you have something you'd like us to look into, send, many, send us an email, rather, cardionews at cardio.com.